Welcome to Ask the Attorney. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Joining us to answer your toughest personal injury questions is attorney John Heyman from the Heyman's Law Firm. John, great to see you. Let's jump right in. Our viewer Paige is looking for some advice. Here's her question. My husband had major surgery a couple months ago, and it seems to have made the situation worse. On top of that, I never even saw the surgeon that we consulted with prior to the surgery at the hospital that day. How do I go about making a claim and at least getting a second opinion about the results? Well, Paige, I'm so sorry to hear about this this situation. Uh, it's certainly not a question that any lawyer who's capable could answer off the top of his or her head. Uh, it requires a great deal of investigation. And the basis for malpractice is not that a doctor is negligent, however, that a doctor has failed to follow customary medical procedure. In our state, it there is an absolute demand that a in order to to pursue a claim, you must have an expert in the same field who's prepared to give an opinion that there is malpractice in the case. Without it, you don't have a basis for a claim. Ever so many of these cases uh, are a result of doctors who, and surgeons who uh, don't have enough experience in that particular chosen field. That's number one. Number two, there's not appropriate testing. And, and as a result of that, uh, you you have inadequate surgery. So there's uh, ever so many typical bases for malpractice, but again, you are certainly entitled, and I urge you to get a second opinion. It's clearly in your best interest. All right, John, great insight as always. Thank you. And of course, if you have personal injury questions, you can email them to asktheattorney at heymanslaw.com. For now, I'm Natasha Lubchenko, and we'll see you next week.